Hey guys, Pagan Tree here. Um, I am still behind. I'm still trying to catch up. And at this moment in my life, I am finishing my quarter from hell at school and will be able to do much better, promise. <laughs> but I'm going to talk about the... I don't remember the exact wording of the question in the YouTube Pagan Challenge, but it was the solitary versus group work, you know, covens, groves, whatever. And I think that's kind of an interesting question for a different reason. It's Well, it's not a simple, yes, I'm solitary, or yeah, I'm in a group, because it depends on the situation. And I think it does for everybody, really. Um, of course, I'm only going to be able to speak for myself, but I am solitary for the most part. And I, I like it that way because I'm able to, to create my own path to follow the guidance that I'm getting from, from my deity and from my totems and getting the lessons I need to learn and doing the actions in my practice that I need to do, the work that that is needed for me or of me. And when you're in a group, you're kind of going with the group, so you're not actually personalizing things. And I think personalization, especially when it comes to spirituality, is extremely important because your spirituality is personal. It really is, no matter what. It is a very personal thing. And so for that reason, I am I am very solitary. But does that mean I don't participate in groups? No, it doesn't, at least not for me. Um, I love being in a community. community. Um, I'm going to break that into pieces. Let's talk about the physical community first, where I'm with people that are like-minded and maybe we're doing open rituals or just gathering to do energy work or discuss things and all of that. I, I love every aspect of it. Um, I love open rituals. I love using them also as tools to teach children you know, so that they have the sense of community. And I think that's just really, really important. I want my children to have a, the great upbringing and, you know, yeah, they're learning things at home, but to see that, well, gosh, we're not a strange family. Everybody does this, you know, or whatever, you know. it Being part of a community, I think, is really important. I love having the chance to discuss things, uh, even if we don't always agree. You know, we discuss what our beliefs are, what our practices or our experiences. And I think that's really, really good. And so that's part of the group work. Um, what was the other thing I had just said? <laughs> I'm always forgetting things. Um, yeah, I don't remember. Oh, like energy work and stuff. Then we're kind of coalescing and really strengthening each other to maybe have one one goal that we can work on together and I think that's really fun and maybe it's to to strengthen ourselves to learn from each other you know there's so many reasons why working with groups or in groups is a benefit and there's so many reasons to be working on your own which is a benefit both are fantastic um and so I think the, the cons for it, for both sides, are almost obvious. The solitary, you're not getting that community um, in, in, and the social interaction and, and the, the strength and the knowledge and the experience from the others. But when you're in a group, you're also not getting your own personal individual me means. Blech needs met possibly so you know pros and cons um i'm gonna sneeze
Okay, it's going to come as soon as I start talking, probably. But, um, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> so that that's the big thing. With the group, though, your group also does not need to be physical. I really like the physical group to interact with. But I love the um, social media groups, too. You know, here on YouTube, I mean... <laughs> This is YouTube. I don't understand how this is YouTube. We are all over the world. We're not connected. Yet, some of y'all out there, I feel, are really friends. Because, you know, I I just know you. And I, I feel you probably know me. We're, we can socialize, you know. Um... You know, we can do things together, and I'm not going to start naming names so, so much of me. I'm just kind of like bubbling inside. I want to say, I'm going to have a cup of tea with this person. I'm going to go walk on the beach with that person, you know, and different things. But I know if I do, then I'm going to mention some people and not others, and then it'll be really weird. But it, <laughs> it's just, I really feel a personal connection with a lot of you. And... um and I think that's something that happens. We're kind of an unusual um, not a generation because we're many generations an unusual era of humans that interact over great distances you know through little boxes and things like this. It's, it's amazing and it, I mean it, it really is magical. But it's so cool. Uh, Facebook, we talk, we build communities. Um, the Wild Witchcraft, we've got the new collaboration. And it will be starting tonight. Yes, I'm going to get this uploaded, so tonight will make sense. But yeah, it, you know, we're getting to know each other. We talk to each other. And we share our thoughts. And I think that's really, really cool, too. But then we can also push the off button and be back to our solitary and with our own inner inner thoughts and our own energies and what we need. And so I think there is no solitary versus group work. I think that they are symbiotic. You know, we need a little of both. And everybody might need a little more of one over another at particular times in their lives or existences. But that also is individual. It's not the same for everybody. And we cannot expect it to be the same for everybody because we are individuals. And I think that is a beautiful thing. We're all on our own individual paths. And we need to follow them to where they take us. Whether they take us into a circle or whether they take us to a spot under a tree, you know. So, yeah, I'm going to catch up with you guys. <laughs> kind of brings us back to the group, huh? <laughs> but I, I just really, I mean, even this, you know, Annika came up with these questions. And she created... A community it's like okay sure we were a community but we have solidified we've become a really great community and it was because of a lot of that kind of inspiration to get us talking with each other and honestly it's funny I feel that the people who are participating in this are getting closer than the people who aren't So, even if we don't watch each other's challenge videos, I think we're getting to know each other. But all of that being said, I just, there's so many ways for us to come together. And there's so many ways for us to be on our own. And it's all beautiful. And thank you for choosing to share a little time with me. Love it. 
Thank you guys are wonderful and I'm going to keep watching, hope you keep watching me and let me know what you think, okay? <laughs> yeah, give me your comments down below because I answer every one of them, you know? When I get to 10 million viewers, I might stop answering them, but don't see that happening in this life. <laughs> so yeah, okay, blessed be good. Mwah. Bye. That didn't hang up. Hang up.